Today we're going to talk about random file access. I have this file, file.txt, and the first thing I want to do is open it. So if you spell the name of your file right and you're in the same folder and you're able to see this file, then you can choose you want to open it for reading or writing. It already exists, so I'm going to open it for reading. If you get back a positive file ID, that's a good sign. That means you were able to open up the file. If you were misspelling your name of your file, then you're going to get back a negative one, and that is not a good sign. That means you are not going to be able to do anything with that reading in from that file. But I was able to read in from that file. My file ID was positive, and there are various commands we can use to read in the numbers from the file. I'm going to use F scanf and fscanf is a good choice for files if you know in advance that you're reading in all integers you'd use percent %f or if there is decimal points in my numbers I'd use percent %f if there were characters I could use percent %c um, but I know that there aren't any decimal points in the numbers in this file so percent %d would be good if I stop right here I'm going to read the entire file contents and store it all in as a vector in this variable num. But there's also a possibility of a third input to fscanf, and that would be what do you want to read in? How many numbers do you want to read? Let's say I just want to read in one number. Well, it's going to read the first number in that file. It's going to read the number three. And now what if I want to change my mind? I want to read um, into a matrix with the dimensions two rows and three columns. Well, I'm at this position right here, so the next thing I'm going to read in is the four, and then the five, and then the six, and I will keep reading until I fill up a two row and three column matrix. And notice that even though four and five were on the same row in our file, when you they go into the first column, and then the six and the nine populate our second column, and the one and the two from the next line, that populates our third column. So if I were to keep reading from the file, I'm right about here in the file, and I'd be reading the rest of the numbers, but I'm gonna teach you some new commands, and one is ftel. Ftel will tell you what position in the file you are at. So I said that I just read in the number two, so I'm right around here, and if I want ftel to give me a number, well, I am 13 um, characters or bytes into this file. Um, so how does it get the number 13? All the spaces count as well as the numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So we're right around here and ready to read in that number 0 if we do another fscanf. What if I want to go back to the top of my file and read the number three again? There is a file f rewind, and that will also take as an input your file ID. It'll take you back up to the beginning, and f tell will uh, tell you you're back at the beginning. So back at the beginning, if I scan in an another number, I'm going to scan in that three. I could scan in another number and I've got the four. Let me look at what position I am. I am three bytes or three characters into this file, one, two, three. There's another way to move around in the file instead of going character by character or line by line, and that is fseek. And fseek takes three input arguments. So we've got the tooltip saying that the first input argument is the file identifier. The next one is the offset of how many bytes or characters do you want to be from a certain origin. I'm going to say I want to go, let me go five bytes from the beginning of the file. So the last argument to fseek could be beginning of the file, end of the file, or your current position. So if I want to go from the beginning, of, I'm at the end of the file, if I want to go from the beginning of the file and I want to go five characters, one, two, three, four, five, that would lead me right around here. So I'm going to go to that position and then read something in, and the next number I read in is six because I had moved to a position where I was right smack dab, in, well, not in the middle exactly, but I was somewhere in, uh, in the middle of the first line, just past the number five, the next number available is six. We could seek to another position. Let's seek to position zero from the beginning of the file. And we can take a look at that. 
and look at, well, if I'm at the beginning of the file and I try to read a number, I'm going to read that number three. 